Next, let us see how can we add the content to this wiki. Now, as I told you in the beginning, the content can be picked up from your Google Drive where you have already created some files, some presentations, some text files or you can type the content here, right here and whatever content is created in you, a file is going to be saved in Google Drive corresponding to that. As I told you, I want to create two units under it. First is introduction or computer basics unit and the second one second unit is operating systems let me create the first unit by copying it from my google drive as you can see i can add a page i can add a folder or i can import some files by clicking on add new you'll find the add new option here as well as here both options are equivalent now i'll click on add new and I can add all these things but prior to adding all these things let me import some files from Google Drive so I'll say import by move when I say import by move you can see that there are the options available I can import my files from Google Drive or the files shared with me or there are some drives which I'm already sharing with my other collaborators and YNAW is a short form of you need a wiki if there is some other content that I have already created in you need a wiki I can also import that from here so prior to using this option let me show what the Google Drive corresponding to this holds now this drive the drive that will open up automatically is the drive of the Gmail ID through which I had connected myself to UnitaWiki. So as I open up the drive, it's very much clear that this drive is for the same email account through which I had connected to UnitaWiki. In this drive, you can see that there are some folders available. One of the folders is classroom folder. Now you must have seen whenever you create a classroom then a classroom folder is created automatically in Google Drive which holds all the content that you have created or accessed of the classroom. And there is a second folder that you can see over here that is computer fundamentals which I had specifically created for this. And computer fundamentals has got a basics folder and in the basics folder you will find that there are three files named characteristics of computers definition parts of computer and then there is a ppt if i want all this content to be automatically included in the wiki i don't have to drag the files one by one but if i include the folder basics in the wiki what will happen is the content that is stored in basics folder is automatically going to get transferred to the wiki i don't need to send the files one by one okay so now just remember I have to pick up the basics folder from Google Drive and transfer it to you need a wiki. The next step will be that only. I'll demonstrate how that is done. So once again I'll say add new, import by move and now I'm going to pick up a file from Google Drive. Google Drive file or folder can be picked up but I'll demonstrate how a folder is picked up. So under computer fundamentals, there is a basics folder. I click on the basics folder because I want all the files under basics folder to be imported to the wiki. I click on basics and select gets activated and now whatever files were available in basics you can see are visible under basics folder. You can see that characteristics of computer, definition parts of computer and types of computer. Now let me click on this characteristics of computer. So you will get a page which specifies the characteristics of computer. Then I can have definition. Definition of computer is specified here. Parts of computer it appears on the right pane. And this is a presentation which is going to open up and if you want to view this you can click on edit you can make changes to this presentation. Whatever changes you make here are going to be made in the Google Drive also. So you can open this up with Google Slides, make the desired changes and 
whatever changes you have made whatever changes you incorporate here are automatically saved just like in google sheets if i don't want to make any changes i want to use this ppt as it is it will remain the same so i have created the first unit with uh, whose name is basics and it has got four components like this now suppose i want to reorganize the uh, reorder sorry reorder the topics because definition should come first parts of computer should come next and characteristics of computer should come as the third topic in this unit so i have an option available for this also so that means i want to shift characteristics of computer to third position for this shifting you click on this and click on the triple dot or ellipsis it will show you a menu and this is uh, and this one of the options is move down so you can see characteristics of computer has moved down by one position i want to move it down further so bring your mouse over characteristics of computer and click on the ellipsis again it gives you an option of moving down now the move up option has also appeared because earlier characteristics of computer was the first topic so it could not be moved up but now it can be moved down as well as up i still want it to move down and now it has moved down so i have the things in order now all the four topics in basics computer basics are in their proper order now suppose i think i want to add one more thing that has been left out that is disadvantages of a computer so disadvantages need to be added i don't have a file already created in google drive for that but now i can create a file for that also to create a file i'll say add new page whenever you want to create a document you will use the option page so a correspondingly google doc uh, correspondingly google doc will be created so let me say disadvantages and now create now you'll find that this page has been created and i can edit it and as soon as you click on edit it's going to open up the disadvantages page in google docs so i can start typing over here since i'm typing the heading next i can specify the disadvantages i'll move back to the normal form uh, now this disadvantages page has been created and i go back to the wiki and see that the page has been added and if i click on that the contents are visible here so even if i close this down because this has been saved in docs automatically whatever new page has is created that is automatically saved as a google doc and if you further want to make changes to the to any of the created pages you can just click on edit over here and once again i come back to the same page and i can make the changes and as in google docs i don't need to give a save command automatically the contents are saved now i close it now i click on disadvantages once again and the new contents appear to reflect the changes that have been made so that way the first unit was partially imported from the drive and to it i could add new contents